Hi bro. Hey. Hi. Hey, what do you do for a living? Oh, this question sounds familiar. You're that guy? Yeah, I'm that guy. Yeah, but like, what do you do? I run a real estate company. What's the best part about your job? Wow. You get to meet a lot of business people and then you get inspired by people. And slowly, you change to be like them. What's one advice you have for youngsters in Singapore? Oh, I think everyone should go into sales. Sales, it's a good form of business that can open up your horizon. You should try it out. Most importantly, you're doing sales, you must be scalable. Business must be scalable. Ah. So that's what helped me these 20 years. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Is this your house? Yeah. Do you mind if I can take a look inside? Because I've never done a house uh, before. Okay, for a while. Okay, let's go. This is a Ferrari one, eh? F8 Tributor. This car really just buy for collection. Mostly on a track and drive outside Singapore. That's the children's school bus. Just coming. I live here with my family. This is a swimming pool? Yeah. Kind of design is more topic than you want to go in? Yeah. Okay. How much is this? A very good friend got for me. All the way from Tokyo. You got a treasure chest there? Keep all my daughter's toys. Oh, you got an arcade? I know. JJ Lin got one. JJ, this is the one you got. What the hell? You got that one? How much does that cost? I collect my bricks. Oh, you got the small ones? These small ones, huh? Eh? But how much is it? It's cost in total. 10? 10,000? Yeah. What, that one? Probably 50 US. This is my phone. Cost dissect with fabric, so it's pretty. Really how much does this cost? This AP? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just got this recently. Thanks oh. to my very good friend. I got it for retail. It cost today? 100. Wow, oh, it's a wine chiller. Yeah, like a big fan of wine. That's where my money goes. Have a look. It's so nice. It's everything's so nice, bro. I'm doing mostly French wine. It's like the burgundy side and this side, the Bordeaux side. But I miss it, the whole interior design of this. Can't imagine myself waking up to this. Come, let's play some games. The design is focusing on the side, open up everything. It's very much like those LA houses. Like. I'm big up there. <laughs> Oh, wow, the power are you? Wow. Aha. They like collecting stuff. So many things are collectors. Like bench. Are you inspired by like JJ Lin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will share the same interest. So I like this kind of street art and art pieces and stuff. I'm trying to make my house into like a gallery. <laughs> it is, bro. It's a museum. This setup is like you can sit here. Like, oh. Just think of things. Uh. <laughs> See things that you like that inspire you. The whole house is about things that can inspire myself or my family. It's things that we like, like a messy neat house. I don't get which part is messy. <laughs> That's a design. The fabric downstairs and this one, they are all fabrics collaboration with a lot owned by Edison Chen. I like him, so I like his stuff. Lah. But Louis Helder and Maka Sumaka. Shoemaker. But they inspire you. Of course, I like curves. These are the two greatest drivers. So I got both their greatest coat that I think it is. I don't think I have hit my peak yet, so that is comforting. I plan to continue to get stronger. I've always believed that you should never ever give up and you should always keep fighting, even when there's only the slightest chance. So you see, when you are at the peak, everyone come and congratulate you. you may then just be stagnant so he don't think so so that there is more room so this guy always go for the gap that don't exist because if you don't you are no longer a racer these are two their factory suit not worn by them but it's their original factory suit that he managed to get on hands on how even that's why you must know the right people <laughs> This is my base car helmet from Singapore. They got my name. When we go to Sepang, this is what we need to do. Upstairs. Oh, I bought them like $1,000 eight years ago. So I got an eye for art. I don't know the value, but I like the artist. Cause is an artist that I super like. So these are the original version of his art pieces. One downstairs, the black one, uh -huh. the dice and this one. This is the 6th anniversary. So today, this one I think 50 US. Maybe I should be collecting art pieces. Welcome to my little man cave. <laughs> these are my old collection. This is probably 12 years ago when I bought them. I bought at retail. Today they're all at right. It's really a museum, bro. Your house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, your gym. Did you just work out here? Yeah. Run a real estate agency. Got a thousand of agents. Sometimes they hang out here. I've got a karaoke system. All oh, these are like collections. Oh, my God. Oh, it's not <laughs> He did this called Sitting on Millions. Most importantly, is I like things that is art can use. I use my stuff. Okay. I use my car, I use my wine. I don't keep them so secure. I use them and display them. I would say that you got a great taste. Thank you so much. This house is valued at how much? Wow. I don't know. Now the price is scary. 3005 by 2000 plus the square foot. If you were to go back in time, what would you say to your younger self? Spend more money on the business and not so much on yourself. When you're in your 20s, you work hard. Probably you spend money. La. But of course, for me, when I was in my 20s, I can't don't spend that much. I spend a lot into the business. I wish I can spend more back into the business. All in the business? Yeah. La. I always like to think that like young people like you doing your own YouTube channel, influencer role, I think it's good. Most importantly, whatever you're doing, you should just think of how you can 10x it. Make money from your side hustle. Don't use the money to buy stupid things.
things like a Ferrari, you know. <laughs> That's what people will do. That's what I didn't do. So I put the money back into the business. And then you stay broke uh, because I put the money into the business. I believe in paying the price now so that you can pay any price in the future. You put the money back into the business to grow it. Because I mentioned importantly, scalability. When you're doing your business, you try to SOP every steps, everything. So that it's more targeted and more precise. Because when precision, you get better results. SOP is? Standard operating procedure. If you don't, it's very emotional. Today you remember you do, you feel like you do. But when you SOP it, it becomes very structured. So structure gives you more results. That's why you have more time to do more things. Spend your money into the business. Scale it up. Scalability is so important. You cannot be at one location, but you can always hire people. You can always scale this. You should always really focus on branding. I think your brand is cool. Cool Chester. Cool Chester. Cool Chester. Cool Chester. Chester. Uh, well, it's a stupid name or is it a good name? You never know. Yeah. Because my company name is preeminent. People cannot pronounce it, cannot even spell it. I don't even know what it means. Back then, when I was 20, I thought, hey, since that is a comment, it is a good brand. Because a lot of watch brands we cannot pronounce, but we like it. Yeah. So to cannot pronounce is good. <laughs> but after a while, you build the business until people know your brand. If Richard Benson can call his company Virgin, you can call your company anything. Most importantly, go to your third and 40s to, go to set different priorities. Right now, my priorities is on my family and myself to enjoy the life that I work hard for. Working hard is definitely the equation. I can see you working very hard. Not a lot of people realize it, man. It's not easy, but you got to find ways to quantum leap your business, including your own skill sets and your own vision. When you are young, your vision is stretched, you have more ideas. That's exactly a lot of it's younger people need. But then I feel like a lot of people are just narrow minded. When I was young, I always practice do what is right, not what you like. I mean, everyone do what they like. Oh, I'm comfortable. I like this, I don't like this. Who cares what you like? <laughs> it's something you should overcome and do it. If you don't like to talk to strangers, you should talk to strangers because business needs you to talk to strangers. Because the more strangers you talk to, the more money you get. Because everything you will want in the next 20 years for you will come from a stranger. Exactly like this. But somehow I find that we Asian are like that because our parents, I don't know your parents. I don't know your parents, like <laughs> will always teach us hey don't talk to strangers so that's how we grow up keep on hustling I like what you're doing wish you all the best it's a lot of wisdom in one video <laughs>